Your doctor has recommended that you have a procedure called a capsule endoscopy. This brief video from the American Gastroenterological Association will help you prepare for the procedure. I'm Dr. Cindy Yoshida, a gastroenterologist from Charlottesville, Virginia. In the next few minutes, I'm going to guide you through the capsule endoscopy process so you know what to expect before, during, and after the procedure, as well as provide some important information on how it can benefit you. The term endoscopy refers to a special technique for looking inside the digestive tract. A capsule endoscopy employs an ingested video capsule that contains a tiny color video camera with a light, a transmitter, and batteries to perform a painless examination of your esophagus, stomach, and intestines. The small size of the capsule may surprise you, as it's just over an inch long and less than one half inch wide, roughly the size of a vitamin pill. Once swallowed, it travels through the gastrointestinal tract, sending multiple images per second to a recording device worn around your waist. The capsule is designed for single use, and it's neither absorbed nor digested. It simply moves through your digestive system and is eliminated with a normal bowel movement. It is also safe for household plumbing and won't harm the environment. Capsule endoscopy provides your doctor with images of your digestive system that can't be captured through conventional x-rays. Your gastroenterologist will use these images transmitted by the capsule to diagnose and evaluate a variety of conditions including gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, diarrhea, polyps, anemia and bleeding, bowel function, malabsorption, abdominal pain, tumors and some cancers, celiac sprue, and Crohn's disease. Your gastroenterologist may also use capsule endoscopy to monitor the progress of treatment plans for these conditions. If your doctor detects a serious problem, you may need to undergo a conventional endoscopy to confirm diagnosis and possibly receive treatment. To learn more about upper endoscopy, read the AGA Institute brochure in your gastroenterologist's office or visit gastro.org. There are important steps you must take to safely prepare for and participate in the procedure. Provide your doctor a complete list of all the medicines you are taking and any allergies you have to drugs or other substances. Inform your gastroenterologist if you have a pacemaker or other implanted electromedical devices. Discuss conditions such as previous abdominal surgery, swallowing problems, or past history of obstructions in the bowel that may impact the test. For esophageal capsule endoscopy, you must fast for two hours. For small bowel capsule endoscopy, do not eat or drink 10 hours prior to the procedure. Do not take any medication in the two hours before test time, and do not smoke for 24 hours before the procedure. Male patients may also need to shave the area around the navel. Hello. Hi, can I help you? I'm here to see you. On the day of your test, come to your doctor's office or the hospital dressed in loose-fitting, two-pieced clothing. Hi. Hi. Are you James Ramirez? Yes, I am. I'm Chris. Hi, Chris. Are you having a capsule endoscopy? Yes, I am. You ready? Yes. Come with me. All right. Your gastroenterologist or a member of the medical staff will review the procedure with you to ensure that you fully understand the process. Be sure to ask questions if you are unsure about anything. Before beginning an esophageal capsule endoscopy, a medical team member will place sensors on your chest using adhesive patches. These sticky patches are connected by wires to a recording device, which you will wear around your waist during the entire procedure. When you are ready to begin, you will swallow the video capsule with water while lying flat on your back. Every two minutes during the six minute period, you will be raised by 30 degrees until you are sitting upright. You remain in this position for an additional 15 minutes to make sure that the capsule has traveled the length of the esophagus. Sitting gradually slows the movement of the capsule, allowing time for additional images to be captured. During the test, the small light on the data recorder will blink to confirm that it's receiving data. After 20 minutes, the test is complete and the sensors will be removed. You are then free to leave the office while your doctor begins downloading and analyzing information from the data recorder.
a small bowel capsule endoscopy, sensor placement follows the same procedure as for an esophageal capsule endoscopy. You will swallow the capsule with water, sitting or standing. You will be allowed to leave and go about your regular routine. You will be provided a form to record the time and nature of sensations and activities, including eating and drinking. Four hours after you swallow the capsule, you may eat a light snack unless your gastroenterologist tells you otherwise. You should avoid strenuous physical activity, especially if it involves sweating. You should not bend or stoop while wearing the sensors. During the test, the small light on the data recorder will blink to confirm that it's receiving data. If it stops blinking, contact your physician. After eight hours, you'll return to your doctor's office where the sensors will be removed and you will turn in the data recorder and your activity log. Your gastroenterologist will download the data and review the color images. In a few days, you will hear from your doctor with the results of your capsule endoscopy. You may have questions you want to ask about the results, as well as the next potential steps in your treatment plan. In the next two to three days, the capsule will pass through your digestive tract and will be eliminated through a normal bowel movement. While it is important to confirm the capsule has exited your system, there is no need to retrieve the device. There have been few side effects reported with capsule endoscopy. Contact your gastroenterologist immediately. If you develop a fever after swallowing the capsule, have difficulty swallowing, begin to vomit, or experience increasing chest or abdominal pain. Cramping and abdominal discomfort have not yet been reported during the capsule endoscopy procedure. Very rarely, the capsule can become stuck in the GI tract due to a blockage or narrowing of the intestines. In this case, surgery may be required to remove the capsule. You're at a higher risk of blockage if you have a history of bowel obstruction or previous gastrointestinal surgery, so be sure to discuss the risks with your doctor beforehand. If you cannot positively confirm that the capsule has been excreted from your body within a week, contact your gastroenterologist for an evaluation and possible abdominal x-ray to establish the location of the capsule. Do not undergo a magnetic resonance imaging or MRI examination or be in close proximity to amateur or ham radios or any other devices that generate powerful magnetic fields until after the capsule is excreted. Doing so could result in serious damage to your intestinal tract and abdominal cavity. Even though capsule endoscopy is a relatively new procedure, it's a safe and effective means of examining your esophagus, stomach, and intestines. If you have any questions or concerns about capsule endoscopy, be sure to talk to your doctor. To learn more, consult your physician and visit gastro.org.